King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. We're about to hop into episode eight of my NBA 2K15 wish list web series. Now, today we're going to be talking about a mode that hasn't been in the game for a few years. So, for all the people that are new to the NBA 2K series, please bear with me. Take a nice little listen, sit back, relax, because you're going to enjoy the ride. Now, before I get into this wish list, I have one thing that I ask of you guys. Via Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, whatever, I want you guys to start tweeting out or posting hashtag NBA 2K15, my crew returns. I will leave that hashtag inside the description. It will be inside this title. It doesn't matter what you tweet. It doesn't matter what you post. Whatever you put on Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter, please use this hashtag. If you are a very big fan of my crew when it was out for NBA 2K10, 2K11, I need you guys to back me up here. We want this hashtag to get trending worldwide. So let's hop into this wish list. I want you guys to grab some popcorn, grab a notepad because I got a lot to say. Now, number one, we need a great structure of a leaderboard. Like for whatever reason, 2K leaderboards do not even work for regular online rank matches. So, first thing that they need to address is the leaderboards. Now, in order for the leaderboard system to work and for in order for it to give people a reason to play this mode, it has to work. Now, I have somewhat of a great idea. Now, the 3v3 and 5v5 on a blacktop thing was a total loss. It's just it just shouldn't be used. But how about a 3v3 and a 5v5 in an arena? How about a leaderboard for 3v3 and 5v5? Now, this is the reason why I'm about to say this. And I know a lot of people are like, yo, you're losing me. Why even have 3v3 in there? I do not want any AI in my crew. Now, if you don't understand what I mean by this, in order to have a mode that is called my crew, you need to only have your friends play with you in these games. You need to only trust in the people that you game with on a daily basis. I don't want to see a team with three my players and uh, let's say a, a like a, a twin tower situation where they got. Um, Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. I don't want to see that type of team. If you don't have enough people to run your 5v5 against five other my players, how about you just play the 3v3 and rank up in that leaderboard? Now, this the only way that this will work is if 2K lets people play separate type of lobbies and games at the same time. Now, what I mean by this is if you have a crew that has the exact same amount of people that are on a regular NBA roster, you can get a 5v5 game going on with no subs or you can have guys come in off the bench and say, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm subbing in, sub me in. Or you could have guys say, all right, well, we don't got enough to run five. So how about you six? you know, or whatever, run 3v3 and us five will go play a 5v5 game. Like that would be awesome. We, I really don't think that we need to have AI in the game. Now, of course, a couple people are probably gonna say, well, what about when people get fatigued and need to be subbed out? It's a game. I've seen guys play Diamond Kobe, Diamond LeBron, Diamond AI, Diamond Rose. I've seen guys like Di Diamond, Diamond, Diamond for all four quarters. I've seen that happen. Guys play on a park to 21 for a half an hour straight and don't be fatigued. So, you know, if but if they do add AI, I just I just don't think that AI should, you know, trump the, the player's experience. Now, the next thing arenas 
Oh my God, this is a very, very vital thing. In order to make it feel like my crew has returned, you have to put these guys in an arena and have real NBA calls with real refs. Have the coach, have the announcing staff, have everything that it seems like you're playing in an online match like you would in a regular match um, on land. You know, guys are saying... You know, they made park mode because they didn't make my crew mode. No, to tell you the truth, park mode was made to actually replace the blacktop mode. So my crew still has a chance to come back because it's an in-arena feature that's in the game for my players only. Now, uh, the next thing is definitely please have us be able to watch replays and use real maker inside of my crew games now i know that this is going to be crazy because people only have a limited amount of time when the game is paused but please give people a chance to like pause the game or you know go dark or something like that whereas though like they're my player is still on the court and they're just not doing anything and they can go into like a little tab where it says save last play to real maker. So you can go and edit it later. Or, you know, when a replay plays, if somebody skips the replay, uh, some, uh, like an option will pop up on the screen saying, would you like to save the entire replay or something like that, you know, later down the line. I, I just I just feel like, you know, with the way YouTube works, Daily Motion, all these different websites, a lot of editors would love to showcase they're my players and they're my crews if this move returns now uh the next thing customizing now of course i already said arenas coaches referees and stuff like that but I, you know what i don't even want to speak on ea's team builder but i really kind of have to you know their whole entire team builder tool their website and everything was dope but i think that 2k could make something up you know very similar now if they can it would be totally dope because you can actually customize your arena to have your team's logo, different colors in the arena, how many fans you might want in the arena at any given time, um, any special celebrities that you put inside the game. Maybe you want those celebrities courtside. Maybe you want to add them to the game. How about, you know, um, different type of backboards and different sponsors inside the arena? How about... You know, uh, when the referee is coming up, maybe uh, referees wear, like, you know, the different type of suits or something like that. Like, some, you know, something freaky that you can switch up, you know, to make the game feel more arcadic. You know, how about you guys play with an ABA ball or something like that instead of a regular NBA ball? You know, just, just something weird. You know, maybe you want a FIBA court or FIBA rules or something like that playing in a my crew game. That would be dope, you know, so I think that, you know, they can totally customize this entire mode and make it fun for the fans. Now, let's talk about VC for a moment. Now, the reason why my crew was taken out was because guys were making 8 foot, 1,000 foot, 25 foot players. Now, in the last couple years, my players have been saved to the server. So we know that that's not a problem anymore. But... What's going to happen when my crew, or if it's even, you know, brought back into the fold, what happens when guys want to buy 99? I believe that, and I said this in previous um, wishlist videos, I don't think that VC should go to upping the skill of your player. You shouldn't be able to just buy your way to 99. How about you go sit down for a couple hours, play a couple of my career games, and get some skill points up. And then you can up your ante. I think VC should only be used for accessories and jump shots and crossovers and stuff like that. Different packages and signature skills. I don't think it should go to your attributes at all. Now, that addresses VC entirely. I don't need guys being bought to 99 because guess what? I, I got a couple dollars in my pocket. I buy 99 too. Now what? <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about the servers. Now, of course, if my crew does make a return, it's going to be just how like it was on the park. A couple guys are going to get kicked, you know, and we just need to make sure that the servers will be able to hold up with the park mode and my crew mode. A lot of people are saying, you know, let's get rid of this mode and bring my crew back. But what if both modes could coexist on the same server? I think that the server should be 
just upped, you know, up the ante on the servers. Do what you need to do, 2K. You know, we have faith in you. Just, you know, get it done. Now, uh, let's talk about the locker room for a minute. With me, I think that there should be multiple managers within a my crew. I don't think it should be one person that can change the colors, the names, the jerseys, and all that. I think that it should be a set certain amount of people that can change it. How about three guys? How about you have three different types of co-captains, as I would call them, inside your locker room? So if a guy says, yo, we're going 5v5, I want this, 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 and this, and this. And your five guys go. And then the second guy will go up and say, hey, you know what? I want this, 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 and this. But, you know, the name of the crew never changes. Maybe they want to go in a different color set or something like that. And you could do that by having multiple people manage the actual crew. Now, of course, if anything happens where as though guys have a falling out and one person says, I want to delete the crew. Well, how about the person that created the crew can be the only person to delete the crew like they'll give you you know managerial you know access but in order to delete a crew the creator of that crew can be the only person to delete it i think that would be a great idea it would give people a sense of yo we in it together instead of yo he runs everything and you guys gotta wait until you get his say so and he might be at work for 16 hours you know such as myself you know at work all day doing you know things instead of gaming so uh that's how i feel about that now uh let's talk about accessories for a moment now, like I said, you could buy accessories with VC, but how about this? How about dropping like a crazy package? Because of course, 2K, we know you kind of want to do make some, like make a little bit of money off this mode. So how about you drop like a big package for accessories for my crew, for your my career players and all of that nonsense? How about you have a big package in my crew with wristbands, straps, uh, Under Armour, all different types of sneakers and stuff like that, and bundle it up and say, hey, how about you guys pay this much for your crew and your entire crew can wear all the accessories. Now, this is the thing. Now, the reason why I say all of the players can wear these accessories, every player doesn't want to look alike. So how about, you know, when you buy this bundle pack of accessories, there's an option for your player to say add accessories or go to my player closet within my crew. So one guy could have goggles. The other guy could have a headband. One guy could have armband. Maybe he wanted straps. Maybe he wanted wristbands. Maybe uh, a couple guys want knee pads, hex pads, you know, stuff like that. We don't want every my player to look the same. Of course, we want them to match in color, but we don't want every my player to look the same. And of course, we don't want my crew to dictate what the player is wearing in his my career games because of course there has been times where a player will wear something on the blacktop and and um uh, last year's series and it would affect what he was wearing on the court we don't want that we want my crew to be its its own separate entity within the game that's the entire thing the only thing we want to bring over to my crew is the my player himself we don't want everything we don't we don't want to know what his stats was on my career or anything like that in my crew we just want that player that's it that's all i'm saying now check this out one last thing before i get up out of here Shoes. Mm, this is a very big thing. There are a lot of sneakerheads out here in this world. And I will have to say, I, me, myself, I am not a sneakerhead, but I know a lot of sneakerheads. Check this out. Say, for instance, we have a couple creators within the crew that love creating shoes, right? They, they got so many different shoes that they wear in my career and all of that. How about it having an option within my crew that says import a shoe for the entire crew? Which means you can have up to, I would say, 15 shoes total. Max, Let's max it out at 15. Let's just say that. You upload 15 different shoes, right? And every, like, say the whole crew has to approve, like, yo, we all like that shoe. Okay, cool. That's going to be one of the shoes that we wear when we wear these type of colors. Or a person wants to create, like, some crazy phone positive, something like, like, give the guys back their creativity, within creating so you know if, if somebody wants to put up like some crazy jordan 11s or something like that and like yo we could wear these in the game and they'd be like all right well just upload them to the crew bro and it'll be done set 
over and you you know you'll have so much fun so you know that's that's how i feel about my crew we just needed to return now even if you know you take all of my ideas and you know you just give me the bare bones where it's an arena 5v5 nba rules referee playing with my friends in the like like i would love it i would love it also we need to be able to practice we need to be able to play in private lobbies where, you know, we can just trash talk amongst crews or even just to get a couple lab games in. We definitely need that. That's one big thing. Play with friends and play against other friends. Like, like that's what we need, man. Um, I, I, could, I could go on forever with my crew, but... I'm just going to end the video here. Um, I hope you guys feel my pain. Don't forget, NBA 2K15, my crew returns. Let's get this hashtag rolling, guys. I, I appreciate everybody. I love y'all. This is IKC signing out. Don't forget to like this video, favorite this video, share this video. Tell your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your sister, your brother. Tell everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you in school right now and you watching this video, tell them iPod said watch this video. All right? This is IKC signing out, man. Love y'all. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.